Alrighty guys, today I'm gonna to show you some of our liquid art. And I, I love this product because it's really versatile. So if you're somebody who uses acrylic, you can use it with your acrylic. If you use the hard gel, the Synergy gel, you can use it with that. I'm gonna show you a little bit with our slick pour as well, but it's a really great versatile product. So if maybe you don't have a whole lot of different colors of your acrylics, of your slick pour, your gels, this is gonna be a way to really enhance those colors and give yourself a lot more options. So let me just start with what we have um, for colors. So we have your three primary colors, red, blue, and yellow, okay? With those three colors, you can mix pretty much whatever color you want. If you mix your yellow and your blue together, you're gonna get your green. Your red and your blue together, you're gonna get a violet. If you do your red and your yellow together, you're gonna get more of an orange color. So you can really combine and you can mix these colors and really customize whatever you wanna do. Okay, so let me start by just showing you how you're gonna mix. When I work, I actually like to use one of our little glass Dappen dishes so that I'm not filling a whole entire Dappen dish with the liquid art, okay? So what liquid art is, it's actually colored monomer. So it's basically the same thing, but with um, the color pigments added to the, to the liquid, okay? So when you get your bottles, they are gonna come with that lid on top. Whenever you're done using it, make sure that you replace that cap because if you leave your monomer sitting with the eyedropper in it, what's gonna happen is this eyedropper doesn't get a really tight seal onto that, onto that bottle. It's not gonna spill on you, but it is gonna let air in there and the air is actually gonna evaporate the liquid. So make sure that when you're done using it, put that cap back on and then it's not gonna evaporate, okay? So I'm just gonna start today with just our red, okay? So when you're mixing, you can use as much or as little as you want. I usually like to start with about three drops. So into my monomer, one, two, three, okay? And then we'll see how that goes from there, okay? Another tip is when you're working, you wanna have a separate brush for your liquid art, okay? Because once that color gets into your brush, it is a little bit harder to clean it out. So have a separate brush that you use just for your liquid art and have one for that, you know, whatever you do, your pink and whites, your other colors and things like that. So I'm gonna take my brush, I'm gonna mix that liquid art into my monomer. All right, so here's where the fun comes in. I've got a few different colors that I'm gonna show you today. And again, just showing you the versatility of the product. So the two that I kind of started using with liquid art was the Speed Clear and the Speed White. Okay, so the first color I'm gonna show you is gonna be our Speed Clear. So when you work with your liquid art and your Speed Clear, you're gonna get a clear pearl of your product. Okay, so I'm gonna pick that up and you're gonna pick up just like you would pick up a regular pearl. So when I place that onto the nail, it's gonna be a clear red. So you'll be able to see through that product, but it's gonna give you kind of that stained glass effect. So again, you'll be able to see through it, but it's gonna give you that really good color. Now, if you feel like maybe you want a little bit more color, you want a little bit deeper of a red, you can always add a little bit more of your liquid art. Okay, so do kind of a test, check your, check your pearl. If you want it a little darker, add another drop or two at a time, okay? And again, just mix up, okay? Then you can always test and check and do another pearl. Okay? All right, so again, with that clear, you're gonna get a clear, kind of a stained glass look, okay? Now, when I first started using the liquid art, I really just stuck to my clear because that's what that was the technique that I was shown. I liked that clear look. But then I started using it with my Speed White. Now with your Speed White, you're gonna get a completely different look. It's still gonna be that red, but now we're gonna get kind of a pastel almost. So it's gonna be an opaque. Okay, so I'm gonna press that onto the nail. And then you can definitely see the difference. So with the clear, it was a translucent nail. With the white, it's gonna be a solid opaque nail. You won't be able to see through it, but it'll still give you that color. Okay, it'll still give you that solid red. 
All right. Okay, so now we've got our two options. Now you can get into some other things because we've got so many different acrylic powders and now we even have the slick pour powders. So you can really customize and you can change whatever powders you have with just a little bit of that liquid art, okay? So the next one that I have is our cover blush. And I just wanna show you what the cover blush looks like just on its own. So I'm just using just clear monomer, just clean monomer. It's a separate monomer, separate brush. There's no liquid art in there at all, okay? So our cover blush is just a really pretty kind of a light pink. Um, it's a little bit opaque, but it does have a little bit of glitter to it. Okay, so that's what that looks like just on its own. So now if I were to use the red liquid art with that, it's gonna give us still that same glitter and that same sparkle, but it's gonna change it to the red. Okay. So again, it's using what you have and just using red, yellow, and blue colors to change up what you've got. So you guys, this is really gonna widen your variety of colors that you can make and things that you can mix and customize for your clients on their nails, okay? I'm gonna pick up just a little bit more, give you that full coverage. So those are three of our acrylic colors. Now you get into your slick pour colors, okay? And we've got 200 some odd uh, slick pour colors. Now with these three different liquid art colors, you can make, I don't even know, the, the, the possibilities are endless, okay? So this color that I've got is called Canary Zing. It's a really pretty yellow. So again, let me pick up a pearl of this just so you can see how it comes out on its own. Okay, so just a really pretty bright canary yellow. Okay, so then what happens when we pick up that same canary yellow with our red liquid art? Pick up a nice sized pearl. So now that's gonna change it a little bit more to an orange, okay? Kind of a really bright summery kind of an orange. Just that hint of red in there, okay? So as you're working and as you're using the liquid art colors and you're using it with your slick pour colors, keep in mind your color wheel. Okay, it's going back to nail school 101. So again, red and yellow make orange. Okay, so keep in mind as you're mixing your powders what colors you're gonna get. Okay. Okay, so we've got that really pretty combination. Okay, so use whatever colors you like with your acrylic powders, um, you can mix. So again, you guys, I'm starting with the red. Say I wanted to do more of a lavender or a violet kind of a color. I can always come in with my blue and add a little bit of blue. Okay. So I'll do just a few drops in there. Okay. Replace my cap. And then we'll give that a stir. Okay, let's come back to just our speed white. So again, the second color here, that was our speed white with the red. Let's see what our speed white looks like with the red and the blue. Okay, so now we've got a little bit more of a violet tone to that now, okay? So you can really customize and you can find colors that you may not find just in your powders. All right, so that was a lot with acrylic. What about for you gel users? I know you're out there, okay? So if you're working with gel, you can also use the liquid art, okay? I always like to use a clean mixing tile, so make sure that you clean that off with some polish remover or acetone. And when I'm mixing my liquid art, I like to use the clear sculptor in the precision applicator tube. I like the consistency of this. Um, and when I'm mixing my liquid art, I like to use something that's got a little thicker consistency rather than thinner, because when you mix your liquid art into the, um, into the gel, what's gonna happen is it's gonna thin it out a little bit. So you wanna make sure that you're starting with something that is a little on the thicker side. Okay, so I'm gonna squeeze out a good amount onto my tile, and then whichever color you wanna use, or whichever combination you wanna use, go ahead and pick. 
And then I'm gonna start with, I'd like to start with just one or two drops into my gel, just so I don't get it too saturated. Okay, so just one, one drop for now. I'm gonna use my spatula and really start to mix that together, okay? So as I'm mixing, you can kind of see, I'm gonna spread that out so you can see. You can see there's a little bit of, it kind of looks um, kind of veiny in there and you, it's not really well mixed. So you wanna just keep mixing until all of that, kind of those lines go away and that all that pigment gets mixed into your gel. Now, if you feel like maybe you added too much of your liquid art, you can always go back in and add a little bit more of your clear and you'll kind of feel, you know, it'll, you'll feel if it's too runny or if it feels like it's not quite mixing into the gel, go ahead and add a little bit more. Okay. So again, we'll mix that really well and just keep mixing until you don't see that streakiness to it anymore. Okay. I think I'm almost at that point. Okay. And then I always like to give my gels just a really quick smooth over to make sure to press out any extra air bubbles that might be stuck in there, okay? Once you've done that, go ahead and scrape it all together and then you're ready to use. So now I'm gonna pick that up and then we'll put that onto the nail and you'll see again it's going to be just a really pretty translucent color it's going to again look like a stained glass window grab a little bit more and your cure times for these are going to be the same as you would use just for your regular um, clear gels so 60 seconds in the light and that'll cure so I'm gonna get that into the light quick. So that nail is done and cured. So now you can really see with, uh, with the gel that really glass-like look. Okay. Again, if you wanted to add a second color into it, let's try, let's try a little bit of the yellow in with the red. Give it that orange tint. So we'll do maybe two drops of the yellow, okay? And again, just like before, really just give it a good mix. So now on this one, I can actually feel it's just kind of kind of slippery feeling. So I know that I really do need a little bit more gel in there. I don't want to have too much liquid art and not enough gel. So I'll go ahead and add that in. And then we'll continue to mix. So again, you can see now that I've added that yellow, I'm getting a little bit more of an orange color, but again, it's kind of that, that stained glass, that Jolly Rancher nail kind of a look. Got a little bit more of an orange color to that. Okay. So you can mix and you can customize your colors however you want to. Use it with your acrylics, use it with your hard gels. Okay. One last thing that I wanna show you is how you clean out your eyedroppers because if you just set those on your table, that little bit of product that's in there is gonna leak out onto the tabletop and this can stain, okay? So make sure that you do clean them out. So what I would use is just clean monomer, okay? Soak up a little bit of that monomer in there and just use that to rinse out that eyedropper, okay? Once you've got that all cleaned out, you're good to go again. All right, so we've got all of our different shades with our red liquid art and our different acrylic powders and our gels. So I'm just gonna go through and file up these nails and top coat and then we'll show you the finished product. Hey guys, we hope you love our nail videos. Comment below and let us know what you wanna see next. To see more, go right over here. To subscribe to our channel, head right over here.